Before you start the job, make sure the deck is in good shape and that you've got all your materials on the job site. You don't want to have to stop the job or call the crew leader and tell them you need more materials. Certainty recommends 3 8 inch minimum thickness on your plywood. Obviously thicker is better. And OSB decking has to be a minimum of 7 16 Ventilated nail base roof insulation products consist of a rigid insulation and a material to provide air space above the installation and below the nailable deck. The decks typically OSB or plywood. These products can be a satisfactory way to provide soffit to ridge ventilation over a cathedral type ceiling. And on a lot of older homes you encounter wood board decking, one bias or tongue and groove. They must be at least a nominal one inch thick. And wider boards are more prone to buckling boards over six inches so you have the option of going over them with OSB or plywood or you can cut the board and then re-nail it. Unventilated insulated decks are also acceptable for the application of shingles if the top surface is an acceptable material such as OSB or plywood. Refer to the deck chapter to see the important restrictions that apply to these type of decks. Tear-off starts with a little preparation and a lot of protection. Use tarps to cover the windows, doorways, shrubs, or anything that can't be moved out of the way. If you can, hang a tarp wherever you're going to pitch off the old roof material. It's a good idea to clean up as you tear off. Use a leaf blower to clean off the deck, clean out the gutters, and remove any loose debris from the roof. It's a good idea to roll a magnet over the lawn, the driveway, anywhere that there could be stray nails. Protecting the homeowner's property is very important where you place the dumpster, where you stack your materials, they look at that. Make sure that you protect their property, cover the walkways with plywood, tarp off the bushes and the shrubs. At the end of the night, you wanna clean up the job site, tarp off your materials, and make sure it's nice and clean. You can put the best roof down, but at the end of the job, if you leave three nails in the driveway, they aren't happy. So make sure you clean up the property. You want to leave that job site cleaner than you found it.